What's up guys? Today we're on a mission. We gotta save Logan. We gotta save Logan. And he has not only just lost this a sense of taste and smell, but everything he's eating tastes rotten. So we have this idea of going to Smoothie King and getting Logan one of every meal replacement shakes that they have, or smoothies, and he's gonna test drive them because he needs to eat. He hasn't eaten in like a couple days and everything he does eat, he ends up throwing it up or it's just outrageously rotten. So we gotta go to Smoothie King and get him one of all the meal replacement sh smoothies. And we're also gonna go to Publix and get him some salmon, cause Audrey and I, in my opinion, make the best tasting salmon ever. We're gonna try making him that. It says it has to be baked, or he said it has to be baked. So that's how we make it anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go get it. All right guys, we're at Smoothie King. Gonna get our smoothie on for Logan. I have a feeling that they're gonna tell me to come inside because there's actually, there's a car behind me and they're gonna be like, sir, can you Please come inside. There's too many smoothies for us and we only got three machines. Maybe we're gonna have to go inside after we order it. How many smoothies have you ordered in a row here? Like, uh, probably four. Okay. Yeah, me and Did, some workout buddies. Were they uh, efficient? Uh, pre <laughs> yes. Now, um, with two workers in the back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's also people in front of us right now, so that's what we're having to work <clears throat> with. But now I'm beginning to think that they they can add the meal replacement powder to basically anything. So that's what they're that's what they're gonna probably tell me. They're gonna be like, oh, well, we can turn it into anything. We'll just put Hulk juice in it. Hey, Mr. Smoothie King, what are you ready? All right, one second, please. Thanks, now we gotta figure out which ones do what. Should we order this like Jeff and Scooter? <laughs> Let me get one of them proteins. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, but we need them to take it seriously yeah. so we, they actually think that we can pay for it. There you go. So. Okay, so I'm trying to go for a meal replacement smoothie. All right. So, oh, okay, it's, it's the one with the M. If I would just read, that would help. Oh, goodness. They got a thousand yeah. of them. A thousand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so every one of them has an M almost. By yeah. the way, a little FYI for you. Dang it. So we're gonna ask for the top six. Yeah. Well, I think that'd be sufficient. Operation Logan just got. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of went downhill a little bit he's not getting one of them yeah he's no one in this world could be that hungry yeah right. you're only getting six logan yeah. sorry okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna do six uh or your top six meal replacement smoothies but the 20 ounce ones yeah in you guys' opinion the best top six that you guys have all the same thing or all different all different. The top six ones. So six six different smoothies, but the top six best meal replacement ones. And does anybody have any peanut allergies or lactose allergies or anything like that? No, the only allergy is a self-diagnosed shellfish allergy. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. All right, anything else I can get you? Uh, no, sir. That seems to be about it. <laughs> All right. Just give me a minute, uh, minute, and I can have those ready for you at the window. Okay, sweet. Self-diagnosed shellfish allergy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he asked if it was, uh, if we had any allergies, so I felt uh, obligated to tell him it was self diagnosed Pretty much, I shit myself by eating bad seafood. <laughs> we do need to do a video where we go through and order food from drive throughs Oh, absolutely. Because then every single menu item that we ordered would be taxed by. <clears throat> I did do uh, Sonic, order Sonic as Scooter. Oh, funny. Yeah, didn't make a vlog about it though. But. Mm. Can I get a Cheerio flavored Blizzard <clears throat> or milkshake or whatever the hell they're called over there? Sonic is the blast, I think. Oh, Dairy Queen's the blizzard. Yeah. <clears throat> they got to serve it upside down every time they do this. And if they don't, then you call them out, they give you a ticket, and your next one's free. Nice. We got to hope they they don't have work ethic. But... <clears throat> yeah. Can we get the guy with the broken arm to hand it to you, please? <laughs> <laughs> one eternity later. All right, guys, so we got the smoothies, and this one is strawberry peanut butter. This one looks like maybe gunna and peanut butter. Bip, 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 stay strapped. Or guava and peanut butter. That one looks like peanut butter times two. Strawberry and banana. That one's peanut butter and blueberries, and that one is pee pee. You know, Logan, you want to get a straw and get after it? Yeah. Uh, which one's the best one? Well, well, I asked the guy to give us six of his top meal replacements because almost every damn thing on the menu could have been a meal replacement. Well, so. we specifically told him your condition and what you were going through. He's like, I'm no doctor, but I'm a smoothie king. So that's <laughs> what he decided to make you. It yeah. should be PB. Well, you can't even taste it. It's because I ate a hash brown from McDonald's and I didn't want to taste the rottenness until I had something else to overpower the taste. Is McDonald's doing all their breakfast now? Again? 
Oh, so, sick. It's pretty good. Oh, pee pee. Do you think you could finish it or? It's good now until your stomach hurts, right? I mean, here's the thing it's not filling, right? It's meal replacement, so, so it will be. It yeah, by the time you drink that whole thing, you'd be pretty full. So you could live off this. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you yeah. probably wouldn't want to. <laughs> Yeah, good. <laughs> Can I get the one that tastes like pee pee? I don't know. Probably peanut butter and prophylactic. I don't know. Peanut butter and probiotics. <laughs> so that one's bad. It tastes like <laughs> peanut butter right. and blueberry. So swap straws. I'll just have a straw. I'm gonna give it a uh, second opinion. <laughs> that one tastes like the fat kid at the back of the school bus. <laughs> Who didn't, who didn't bathe and you really wanted him to bathe. <laughs> yeah. So there's peanut butter and blueberry. On Wednesdays after the run, the mile run day. It tastes like really good blueberries and peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> All these peanut butter? Uh, this was going to be double peanut butter. <laughs> well, he did ask, he got, like, does anyone have a peanut, you know. Peanut butter. I yeah. Think rotten, I mean. Well, you said almond butter. He asked if anyone had a peanut allergy, and Lance told no, but a self-induced <laughs> shellfish allergy. <laughs> yeah, self-diagnosed shellfish allergy. <laughs> yeah. So the pee, pee is the winner. Yeah. Strawberry peanut butter. But I bet you the peanut butter is the best ones because they have protein, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So Logan test drove the smoothies, and the only one that he thought was good was the pee, -pee. So now we're going to make him salmon because he says he can eat salmon. I know what pee, -pee is. It's plant protein. That's why it doesn't taste rotten to him. Maybe you need to start eating. Vegan. Mm. I they do have vegan shakes up there, a whole column. But we're like, yeah. if that, we're gonna get them the boosted ones. Well, good job. The right has turned rotten. You seem not right. I'm, but I'm dying. I'm gonna die. I, I want my feet too back. I can't do this. Like, I'm just in constant pain. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was about to cancel film today, but I was like, no. If I'm gonna go to the hospital, I need to get one more video. And so I'm gonna try to push through and film today. But you know, Lena here to do fix up on that puppet. You call her, get her over here ASAP, and I'm gonna teach them how to make delicious salmon. All right, guys. <clears throat> so anyway, we went to the local grocery store here, and they have bourbon glazed salmon. So I've never tried that. So we're gonna put that on there. But the real one is this salmon filet right here. So you take a piece of salmon, set it on there. Olive oil, just, just a little bit on top. I don't use the Walmart olive oil because you poor. <laughs> I love Walmart. <laughs> and then you just gotta massage the salmon, get that going down. Make sure there's no bones in there because that'll ruin a day. Then take you some magic salmon seasoning. Absolutely the tits. And then you just give it a nice little Crust. Crust. And then you gotta massage it in there. Then you wanna turn it sideways because you don't wanna miss out on seasoning there. Just across the top. Push that in there. Then you can mop up the other seasoning for the other side. And you're pretty much good. Look at that. Easy dinner ready in 35 minutes because it takes about five minutes to do all that, if that. And then you preheat your oven to 375 and you'll wanna put the salmon in there for exactly 30 minutes. And it comes out looking delicious, so one eternity later. One eternity later. All right guys, the salmon's done. So now we're gonna pull her out. Don't pay attention to the bourbon one because I've never made that before, so I don't know if I did that right. But that is actually exactly how it's supposed to look. Delish. The tits. Now we just need to get Logan so he can test drive. Every time, what? Did it smell like a box of crayons? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe try it because it's, it's like really good. This is the exact same salmon that every time you ask us like what we eat, this is the salmon that we eat. Oh, you like it? Sweet. No, uh, for now. <laughs> Just don't eat this salmon. I didn't like that one. I might still have to eat it with a nose plug. Oh. But it's not rotten. Yeah. It's, it tastes like a box of crayon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is better than rotten. Yeah, true. At least it has some flavor. Uh, but the good news is we got you a hot dog. There you go. Here's your hot dog and tots and honey mustard. It is. I'm pretty sure this is good. <laughs> In my most professional opinion. Um, put ketchup. You want, you want ketchup on it? The only person I know that puts ketchup on fish, or salmon for that matter. On fish sticks, it's good, but... Corn dogs are good. Oh, corn dogs are the tits. Where'd you get a corn dog? Oh, you got a corn dog from uh, Applebee's the other night. It was good. Yeah, but there you go. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm trying to eat it. I'm trying to eat I it. I feel bad because like you're genuinely gonna get sick if you don't if you don't eat anything. I'm try I'm trying. I yeah, I know. I, I and I I've, I've been trying to think of the correlation between everything and I don't know. Yeah, test drive the hot dog, dude. That's good. It look, my brain's telling me any food I put in my mouth is bad. Yeah, that's sad. And I'm just gonna eat slowly some things to get a video today. See, I can dip it in ketchup. I'm gonna see if the tater tots are still well. It's still rotten. When you say rotten, like what taste are you thinking of? Like a rotten food, spoiled milk? An animal dying. 
Ugh. Like a roadkill. Why don't you try like like a vegetarian only meal? Like uh, a Beyond Meat burger. It's meat, but it's plant-based, so it might be normal. But anyway, guys, if y'all have any solutions or suggestions for Logan to try any type of foods, or if your parents are chefs, ask your parents if, if they know how to cook something that's not gonna be rotten for Logan. Put it in the comment section below, and we'll see what we can do, see if we can help him. All right, guys, so the smoothies didn't work. The salmon didn't work. So what we did was we got Logan some popcorn, because it's the popcorn that he actually likes. Maybe that, that'll work. We got Vapo Rub so he can put it on his nose if he wanted to get a different smell. These are also the same thing, except you, like these are the things that Mama had a long time ago. You just inhale those and it like clears out your nose. This stuff, you do like a shot in each nose and that clears out your nasal cavity. Right. So the reason why I'm focusing on like your nose is because you use your nose to taste stuff. So there's also essential oils. This one's like immunity. You don't eat this, you just open up the cap and smell it. So that one smells like lavender, peppermint, and then that one smells like a good immune system. So what do we try first? Um, we also got you, cuties are mandarin oranges and then ginger and stuff. So what I would probably try to do is take a little bit of this ginger, just like a little tiny bit on a spoon, and just eat that, and then try to eat something that you taste well first. It's not gonna taste good, it's a very potent. Yeah, taste. this isn't meant to taste good. Uh, it's just meant to like cleanse your palate. You get the yogurt too? Yeah, okay. yogurt, <laughs> there's two things of yogurt in the, uh, oh here, I'll probably have to take the thing off. It touched my neck. <laughs> <laughs> That actually smells really good. Wait, I Let's put some on a spoon. Just a little bit. Just down there. Might not taste good, but it's, it just keep in mind it's not supposed to taste good. It'll help with your stomach, man. Nauseous. Yeah, it helps with nausea and it burns. You didn't get the oikos? Well, that was the only like sour regular flat, uh, flavored one. All the other ones, yeah. The oikos only had it. What is it supposed to taste like? That's the original. Siggy's is not my favorite. Um, what it tastes like? It tastes like vanilla yogurt, not sour cream. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. How does that smell? You're wrong. I'm gonna smell it. Cause that ruined it. <clears throat> the popcorn ruined it? Yeah, so That's the... quite smart. Every time you eat something you don't like, fucking hit it with like one of those scents to clear it. Yeah. Don't inhale strong. Just like kind of naturally smell it. Cause if you sit there and snort it, it'll make your head hurt. How does that smell, the lavender? It smells... I know that's supposed to smell like. Lavender. No, this one's peppermint, so this one will help with like nausea. It'll smell like a candy cane. Yes. Now, if you do get nauseous, you can put that peppermint, like you can get a little bit of oil, put it on like your temples, and it'll help with nausea. Because what's going to happen is this stuff's going to sit here. Is the honey bad? It's sour cream. It's like not honey sour cream. You could put the honey in the non-flavored Greek yogurt. That's another idea. That's what people do to flavor their Greek yogurt that's right. non-flavored. Now, try the 100% cocoa. You did 195 and then 90. Yeah. You go all the way down to 70 like that. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. So it's 100% cocoa. Oh, I want to try it. Sure. It's, it's rotten. <laughs> it smells rotten? That smells like chocolate, man. Then don't eat it if it smells rotten. I wouldn't. I always see it all the 90s. So I'm like, burn it. Oh my god, it feels like a toy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. It smells amazing, by the way. 100% cocoa. 100%. Oh, damn! Mm. It's so strong. <laughs> it's chocolatey. Oh, it's not it's chocolate at all. It's so dry. Oh my okay. god! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like putting into a coffee bean, but worse. Oh my god! It's like a paste now. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. The skittles are good. Who is that? Oh, not so bad. What does it like? Oh, it's horrible! It's like making my eyes water. Ugh. Yeah, I can't do it. That's so bad. Yeah. Oh no. I uh, like it. Dude. It doesn't taste like garlic. It tastes no. like charcoal. Maybe we have hope with unflavored Greek yogurt. Well here's the thing, I feel like I haven't been eating anything solid. I've only been eating smoothies and liquids mm. and I don't like that. Well. But you can make, like, one thing about tofu is you can make tofu taste like almost anything. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a solid mm -hmm. somewhat. And you can get the extra firm one so it feels like you're eating mm -hmm. steak or chicken. Mm -hmm. Have you tried like Beyond Meat? Like the right. Beyond Meat Well that's meat what I, I, I was eating into the lounge which is a vegan place. They close on Mondays. Burger King has a Beyond Meat I'm burger. Yeah. Like maybe order Red Robin and get because Poopy said that the Red Robin burger was good. We have Beyond Meat one, yeah. Uh, Chili's also has a black bean burger, but uh, yeah. beans are bad. He doesn't like beans. Uh, yeah, order Red Robin and get the Beyond Meat burger that Poopy suggested. Mm -hmm. Starbucks also has a Beyond Meat breakfast. sandwich, breakfast sandwich, but they do breakfast all day, so Red it doesn't Robin's matter. 
So unfortunately that didn't work either, but hopefully we can try to figure something out. But like I said, if you guys have any ideas, put it in the comment section below on how we can get Logan his taste back without it tasting like a rotten sewage or some situation. But anyway guys, I appreciate it. See you in the next video. Pee pee.